What's up guys, this is Blowfail7, and today we're going to do a Minecraft video on the Xbox 360 edition. And this is going to be a survival game. Not battle mode, just survival with my friends. It's going to be a pretty short video, I don't know why, but I have to go somewhere soon. So we're waiting for it to load. Two friends want friends to play Marco, so yeah. Sorry if you see a lot of stripes. Hopefully that helps. Sorry if you see a lamp in the background, but hopefully you won't see that well. We're gonna try and go to the to the end or should I show you my city? I think I should show you my city. Okay, we're just gonna do a small tutorial and it's how to build a cool little house. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're back. So, again with the tutorial, I was just inviting a friend of mine. So, right here, there's gonna be known as a mini mart. There's going to be another episode of this, so what you need is some polished granite, some quartz, this block, and a site, some stone, smooth red sandstone, stone bricks, and some glowstone. Other friends don't like. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, to start, to kick off your, um, your mini mart, you want to do five at the bottom here. And then, you want to grab your paws and the site, and go up by tip. And then you want to come back to the back, break one block, and put two and a site. So then, you want to do three with your paws granite, and do two and a second. Then you want to grab out your glowstone and place a little corner right there. See, these will be where the windows are, as you can see right here. Oh, silly me, forgot a door. Okay, so. Now what you would like is some glass for your windows. There we go. And let's do this. And this is going to be the front of your building. My friend joined to help. Okay, I was just taking care of something. So go with close the whole way atop. And I forgot something. We need these, I mean, these stone slabs. Yes. So do that. So it looks a bit better. And there, that'll be the front of your mini mart. We'll place a door near the end of the video. But, like again, grab your glowstone, go up a little, and then, oops, one block. And then do the slabs like we did with the other side, or there. So then, after you got that taken care of, you want to grab your stone bricks and go up. But for this one, you're just going to do this. And that's it. And then here's going to be some other windows. This is going to be, you know, splitting up four windows. Grab a stone bricks right here. Like so. Go up. Alright, guys. We don't need this here. So then... We're just going to take our quartz and go the whole way back. And also, as you can see right there, you want to do the same thing. One, two. One, two. Stone bricks. So then go up. Go up again. 
And there you go. Now all you guys want to do now is fill in this part with some glass. Glass blocks. There we go. So then, do the same on the other side. Let me just fill this in. Okay, now we're coming to the back of your building. And do red sandstone, skip a few, red sandstone, and you want to have five blocks in the middle. Just leave it like that. And then you want to add some glowstone. Go up two with your polished granite. Just like so. And there we go. So then these right here aren't going to be windows. These are actually going to be filled in. But because these are going to be filled in, there's going to be little tiny little holes for windows. Hold on. Work. It's working in the store. Okay. So let me go back to my build. And then place in some of these. And then you want to grab your glowstone. And place it right there. There. So you should have this. Go. So you should have this at the end. Okay, now what you want to do is fly up a little and place all red sandstone around. My friend helps me. Hopefully he does it the right way. But he better. Because he isn't that much good of a builder. So, yeah. Okay. Now, if you guys want some more videos of my friend, I'll I'll make some more videos with Gatlin P.E.O. and other friends. So then you got that. You want to get your, glow, your stone bricks and just make another layer, but one inside of the other. Oops. This is for the tip of the building. Just grab your slabs and do this. And then you pretty much have the outside of your building complete. And now, guys, I won't do the interior of this building, but I'll do the floor, though. You can do the floor whatever you like, what kind of wood, but yeah, you can do it out of jungle, spruce, oak, whatever you want to do. So then you want to break out this, skip one, and just keep doing this till you go to the end. And then keep doing this the whole way around. My sister joined, she's in the other room. So my sister joined, right there as you can see. And yeah, that's the top of your mini mart. The next episode we will be doing the outside, you know, the parking lot space. You just had a door for me. This is cute, Claire. Look at all this together. So this is the inside of the mini mart. You can do whatever floor you like. So like for example, for this build, we will be using birch planks and making the floor of our mini mart. go so once you got that finished I'll meet you back when I get this finished okay we are now finished and the final part is to add a door you know if we broke that part so looks like I still have a bit of time you can choose whatever wool you like I'll be choosing blue you know cuz blue wolf get it did it Shh. So then you want a trip wire hook. 
throwing the redstone. You can either use a lever. I think I'll use a level for a lever for this build. Excuse me. So for this build, you want to go up two, and then go up two again with your levels. And this is where cars, you know, take a pit stop. And then for the between that, you want some jungle planks. I mean, fences and do that. And then. Um, iron blocks, and then that. Okay, so um, after that's finished, you just want to do another one, if you like, right here. But maybe this way to save up a little room. So fill in the top levers. And then, yeah, you're finished of your mini mart. But just to add a little detail, you can also use some iron blocks for the top of your mini mart. So just fill in your mini mart like this. And then, yeah. So then you, you want to grab your cobblestone walls, like so, and then just place some supports right there. You know, just to make this look a bit more realistic. Okay, after you've done that, grab your glowstone again and do here. And there, you have the outside of your mini mark complete. And what? Watch what? Don't do! Don't do this, guys. Actually, you want to get your bookshelves just like Q Claire did. And then also, you want to grab some item frames. You can pull whatever items you like. Like, for example. Some cookies, a potion, or so, and you can just do this and place them on the random spots. We have the potion, and yeah, that's what you can do. You can also do some shelves like Cute Claire's doing. Just add some cobblestone walls over your shelves. And yeah, that's pretty much of the mini mark complete. But what you guys also want to add is some snow for the checkout place. I mean, what is a mini mart without a checkout place? So you want to get these three materials: snow, tr wooden trapdoor, oak fence gate. Do this, and then do that. And then grab your fence gate for here. And you, you can use your iron trapdoors for this if you like. For the top. Oops, didn't want to do that. Oh no, we can't place it. You want to get your dark oak wood and place the top like that. Looks like we have a little worker right here. Cute Claire 21. And then you can do some little, you know, decorations like that. And there's your mini mart. Your checkout place. Oh, you also want a cashier. A cash register. So then, yeah, that's your mini mart. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. See you guys later. Bye.